All right, we can just try it. Yeah, let's do it. What the heck, okay. In our last video, we took calcium carbide, put it in the pumpkin, added water to it, and generated acetylene gas. We combusted that acetylene gas to do a common demonstration in chemistry um, where you have a pumpkin and the carvings pop out of the pumpkin. However, we labeled that demonstration blowing up pumpkins. And to be honest, I feel a little bit disingenuous about that because we didn't really blow up pumpkins. Last time, the amount of acetylene gas that we generated was not able to be fully combusted by the oxygen in the pumpkin. That's something I was trying to take into account while we were filming it. And the reason it wasn't fully successful, or at least a little bit underwhelming, is because the amount of oxygen that was contained within the pumpkin wasn't enough to fully combust the acetylene gas. It's a really interesting, what's that, what's that word when you, a thought experiment? Okay, can I, can I continue from there? It's a really interesting thought experiment in stoichiometry. Stoichiometry in chemistry is one of the first topics that you'll encounter. If you had something like 10 graham crackers and as much chocolate as you needed to make the corresponding amount of s'mores for 10 graham crackers, well, you only had two marshmallows, you're limited by the marshmallows. That's something that we would call the limiting reagent. In our case, the limiting reagent was the oxygen. If you watched the last video, I clearly got very greedy and also very scared, and I fully knew about the stoichiometry. There was a really good video I found online of a teacher doing this experiment. It's one of the few that I found where they actually genuinely blow up the pumpkin, which is what we hope to do today. And he used oxygen gas. He addressed the stoichiometry issue by directly tubing in oxygen gas and filling the pumpkin with 100% oxygen gas. I don't have an oxygen tank. However, we have bottled oxygen. This is 95% oxygen. We're gonna squirt some in and hopefully that will work similar to what that teacher was doing. Um, so that's another break. This is another break. It's cold. Uh, it is cold. Interesting to think about, oxygen is not flammable. It's an oxidizer. It's very dangerous because it's an oxidizer, but oxygen itself cannot combust. It combusts other things. And that's what we're gonna be using it for, as an oxidizer to oxidize acetylene gas. This is our bottled oxygen, menthol and eucalyptus flavored. I think that's the 5% that's not uh, oxygen. <laughs> we have a cup. I've surrounded the cup in electrical tape so that way it hopefully doesn't explode on the first go. Fuse, so I'm not a complete baby and we can light this. I've also cut a bunch of pre-cut pieces of tape. It's very cold, that's why I'm starting my words, I'm sorry. We wanna keep as much pressure contained as possible until it blows. We don't want, for example, the top to lift off before the front pieces go out or before the pumpkin gives out. That's why we have these pieces cut out to secure the top to the pumpkin. We got duct tape, electrical tape. I think these are cut out long enough. We've got two lighters. I would like to talk about this. I would like to talk about this. We have two lighters. Last time, I stuck a lighter in a pumpkin and it got clogged and we had to use matches and that was really scary. Now we have two ladders that reduces the chances by 100% that we have to experience that situation again. Did I say ladders? I was, it was lighters. Let's just dub it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we have two lighters. I think we're ready to give this a try. Uh, I would like to share our design. This is the Horn logo from World of Warcraft. Its quality is as good as the Shadowlands cinematic. It sucked. Sorry, it's a joke. Oh. So we're gonna be giving it our first attempt. We're going to be putting some of the bottled oxygen in it, so that should improve it. We're gonna put the top on it, and then we're gonna seal it really nicely, I hope, with this duct tape and electrical tape. We're good? Yeah, All in? Good. I'm gonna put the calcium carbide in here. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, that's okay. Ah, it's a little bit of acetylene gas from uh, cheapcarbide.com. That's, you get what you pay for sometimes with cheapcarbide.com. <laughs> okay, all right, so just a little bit. Just a little bit. And put it in. There it is. Okay, we're hot, I think.
What? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shit! Oh my god. Did anything happen? It did blow out. Yeah, let's watch it. That's cool. That, yeah. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Yeah, it wasn't, you know. It was nice. Well, you didn't destroy it. No. I mean, that was a, sol that was a solid gif. Sure. I didn't see much smoke. Last time I saw a ton of smoke, that might just be changes in the lighting. I felt pretty good about the oxygen gas. I think, ready to give it a go? Yeah. This time I'm gonna have somebody assist me in putting the top on. Cover it, cover it. All right, we've solved the problem. <laughs> Is everything okay? Dude, that exploded right now. I was like just standing here cool. <laughs> oh my God. I feel a lot better. Oxygen's the key. Thank you very much for your assistance. Oh my god. You can literally see it making that freaking mess to be it's cleaned up over there. Just oh it's supposed to All right, so we figured it out. That's good. Also in the chaos, the calcium carbide was not capped. I don't know where the cap went. We should find that out. I spilled some. That's an oopsie, so I'm sorry. So we attempted it again. Um, to the guy on Reddit that said our previous attempts were underwhelming, I hope you understand some of our pains. We're probably not gonna be looking at calcium carbide again in the near future, um, but uh, hopefully this was informative an informative lesson on stoichiometry. Uh, it's a better way to do that.